This husband is drunk. He has been drinking all day with his friends. He is going home to get some food and more money to keep on drinking. His friends are waiting for him at the bottle shop to buy more grog with the money he gets from his wife. His wife can see him staggering up the street. She goes inside and locks the door because sometimes he gets violent when he's been drinking. He is very angry and says he will kick the door down and bash her if she doesn't open the door. Patrol see what is happening and call the police. Night patrol, take the woman to the police station. The police ask the woman if she wants to take out a domestic violence order. A domestic violence order is a court order which says you must not do certain things or act in certain ways towards the person named in the order. The police explain that because the woman is in danger of further violence, she can have a domestic violence order to protect her from harm. A domestic violence order is a legal protection given by police or court. A domestic violence order can be taken out through a lawyer or a person or the police on behalf of a person who needs protection against family or people who have lived in the same house. A domestic violence order can be made to suit your situation. It can say that a person can't approach or contact the protected person. It can say that a person can't approach or stay at any place the protected person is living, working or staying. It can say that a person can't assault or threaten to assault the protected person. It can say that a person can't damage things or threaten to damage the protected person's things. It can say that a person can't yell swear or be cheeky to the protected person. It can say any other order which will help. If there are children involved, the domestic violence order can allow the defendant to spend time with them. 
a domestic violence order has to be respected by both people. The protected person must also follow it. The woman tells the police that this is the third time her husband has been violent to her. And it's not always when he is drunk and she is very afraid of him. The police officer says that they have seen their husband being violent and they believe she is in danger. Because of the danger, they can take out a domestic violence order straight away, even if she doesn't want it. The police decide to issue an urgent domestic violence order. Police make a full no contact order so that the husband must stay away from his wife wherever she is. Exposing kids to violence can cause them harm. Here, because the husband is not directly hurting the children, the domestic violence order will let him access his kids. The husband can ask the family member to bring the kids to spend time with him. This might be at the house of a family member. After being held at the police station for four hours, the police decide to give the domestic violence order to the husband and let him go. They explain to the husband what the conditions of the domestic violence order are and tell him that it starts straight away. If you don't understand what is being said, you should ask for an interpreter. The police will arrange for a trained interpreter to come to the police station to help you and the police communicate together. The police tell the husband if he does not obey the order, he can be arrested and might go to jail. The police will give you papers which tell you when the hearing of the domestic violence order will be on at court. If you have a domestic violence order against you, get legal advice as soon as you can. A court, you will have a choice to agree to the domestic violence order, disagree or negotiate with what the order should say. Because of the domestic violence order, the husband is not allowed to go to the house or near his wife. This means he can't go to see his kids if they are with her. She is using that order now to protect herself and stop him from coming in the house and abusing her. It's no good for the kids to see their parents fighting. When she calls the police, they come straight away and arrest the husband because he broke the domestic violence order. The husband should ask for help to see his kids away from his wife. The kids want to see their father. The wife tells her auntie that because of the domestic violence order, she can't take the kids to see the father. The auntie offers to take the kids to the husband for a visit. If you have a domestic violence order against someone, you can't go against that order unless it has been changed by the court 
even if you both want to. The husband mate tells him if he wants to see his kids, he might have to stop drinking and do something about his anger. He encourages him to get some help. If you have problems with drinking or violence, sometimes you can't work it out by yourself. There are alcohol rehab programs and anger management programs where you can meet other men in the same situation and deal with these problems together. It is the lawyer's job to listen to the wife's story and give her legal advice about her options. The lawyer can't do anything for the wife without her permission. What the wife tells the lawyer is confidential. The lawyer explains that domestic violence orders do not need to be left for when it's really bad. Women and children who fear for their safety can ask a lawyer for a domestic violence order. The lawyer explains that there are different types of orders which can be made to suit your needs. The wife says that her husband has stopped drinking and is getting help with his anger. She would like him to keep seeing his kids but not to come around when he has been drinking. The lawyer says that the court can make an order to stop him from coming near her and the kids when he is drinking. The wife asks the lawyer to go to court and request the domestic violence order to be changed. The Kaflu lawyer goes to the police to explain why the wife wants the order to be changed. It is up to the police to agree to the changes. Sometimes the police need proof that she is safe and things have changed. Changes to the domestic violence order can be made at the next court date. If you have a domestic violence order taken out against you, you need to get legal help to explain what it means. Even if there is not a lawyer base where you live, legal service can arrange an appointment for you over the phone or when court is in town. The husband is bringing a copy of the domestic violence order with him. The lawyer explains to him this is a short-term order and it is up to the court to decide whether it continues. She tells the husband he can't object to the domestic violence order or ask for it to be changed at court. Another choice for the husband is that he can agree to the domestic violence order but without admitting that he did anything wrong. The husband says that now that he is not drinking, he wants the domestic violence order to allow him to see his wife and kids together. Through their lawyers, the husband and wife have applied to the courts to have the domestic violence order changed. The police agreed that the court should change the domestic violence order so that the couple can live together on the condition that the husband stays away from his wife and kids if he has been drinking and that he attends an alcohol rehabilitation program. Thank you.
This woman is in a different situation. She has gone to the women's shelter because her husband has been yelling at her and the kids and hitting her. She is too frightened to go home. Because she is worried about her safety, the women's shelter worker calls car flu so she can get advice from a lawyer. Women don't have to wait until they have been seriously hurt or going to hospital to be protected by the law. They can decide to get help at any time and still stay with their family but without violence. Women can apply for a domestic violence order on their own without going to the police. Women can get help from Carlos, Northern Territory Legal Aid, Carflu and the Women's Shelter. The first step is to talk to a lawyer. The lawyer will write an application for a domestic violence order and for an affidavit for the court. If the woman needs a domestic violence order straight away, she might need to ask police to give her a temporary order until the next court day. You need to tell the lawyer the kind of domestic violence order you want to keep you safe. This woman wants to stay with her husband, but wants him to stay away when he is drinking because it is then he becomes angry. The lawyer explains that a contact order will allow contact but will stop her husband from coming near her when he's been drinking and will stop him abusing her or hitting her at any time. As soon as the application is lodged, police will find the husband at home, give him a copy of the application and tell him when he has to go to court. The husband decides to see a lawyer before court to understand what it is all about. The lawyer explains that if the order is made, the husband will be allowed to see his wife and children, except when he has been drinking. If the order is made, it will stop him from abusing or hitting his wife or kids. If he breaks the order, he could go to jail. It is important for the husband to understand what the application is all about. The husband doesn't have to turn up to court if he does not want to. But if he doesn't, the court can still make the order. Because he had his chance to have his say and he hasn't taken it. The husband knows he sometimes gets angry when he's been drinking, so he agrees to the order. He also decides that he needs to do something about his drinking. The husband and wife come to court separately with their lawyer and interpreters. The lawyer talk for each of them. The lawyers tell the magistrate that the husband and wife agreed to order for 12 months. After listening to everyone, the magistrate makes the order and gives a copy to the husband and wife. After court, the lawyer tells the husband the order is for 12 months and that he has to do what the order says. When he finishes the alcohol rehab program that he is doing and if his wife sees him change, they can talk to their lawyer again and come back to court to have the domestic violence order lifted. <laughs>